My name is William, and I work for Great Choice Moving here in uh, the HEB Metroplex. Um, we're just getting out to a move, and we're going to show you a few things that go on uh, on an average everyday move. Okay, right here we have an armoire that uh, instead of trying to take it on a box dolly or leaning it over on a four-wheeler, we're going to put it on a appliance dolly because it's got a strap and it'll help hold that door closed. Uh, now I've already checked and there are no shelves that are loose that need to come out. So uh, it's it's ready to be taken out to the truck and once we get it out there we'll wrap blankets and stuff around it. As you can see they don't always fit under the doorway so sometimes you've got to have an extra guy or a better tool now the front doorway to this particular apartment is very difficult because it has that turn so we know we've been around long enough we know a few tricks and how to make it easy and still take care of your stuff you notice we didn't force anything or bump no walls there okay right here is the bedroom and uh, we're just showing you that we take apart and put together beds if you need us to uh, we have most tools we don't have all of them but we have most tools all the regular normal everyday setups now this bed was a little different it didn't have a box springs it just had a platform but we still took it apart okay here I'm demonstrating that um, you know stuff is better when it's it's wrapped up in the house it doesn't have to be especially on a local move if it's a very fragile piece then you know of course we like to wrap it in the house you also want to make sure you don't have any breakables or glass pictures and items things like that in the drawers if you're just gonna move clothes in the drawers that's more than fine we can turn the the, the furniture the way we need it to now right here I'm showing you that it's if you're gonna wrap something up cover the feet because if you're if someone's sliding around the piece of furniture in the truck and it happens to catch a screw or something it's gonna peel that wood apart so when we're wrapping blankets around stuff we like to get the feet and get it under there okay um, here I'm I'm actually wrapping a desk and um, again we're, we're just trying to, to wrap the blanket around it uh, in the house this is really a good idea if you're going long distance um, if you're just going local it's not necessary unless it's a really really fragile or an antique piece or if it's one of them pieces that you know it's it's more important to you it doesn't matter if it's worth five dollars it's just really important or sentimental to you so that's fine we're we're more than willing to uh, do whatever it takes to make you satisfied to make you feel comfortable so um, and we do a really really good job of, of wrapping stuff up and and taking care of people's stuff and and just trying to make them have the most comfortable move that they can possibly have Okay, and now this next clip, uh, again, we're showing the difficult doorway with a sofa. And uh, also, once again, we have a blanket on the floor. Uh, that way we can get the sofa out with without having to pry it or put it over the balcony or any of the things like that. One thing I would like to point out is that we do cover your doorways. We cover both your door and the threshold to get into your door, so that way there's no bumps, scrapes, nothing like that to worry about. Uh, we blanket everything when it gets into the truck, if it's not already blanketed, and we'll use double the blankets if necessary, triple the blankets if necessary, whatever it takes 
and make your stuff safe in that truck so uh, once again here here's the love seat and um, I think this is it I want to appreciate you all for watching our video and uh, we hope you call us because uh, you know we, we want to come out and be a great choice for you guys too thank you and have a wonderful day